The well, Castro Land Trust is participating in a statewide program that's coordinated by the state ornithologist. We're looking at American kestrels in our area because they are in severe decline due to lack of nesting opportunities. They are secondary cavity nesters, which means that they nest in the cavity, but they're not able to make their own hole. So they rely on woodpecker holes or uh, holes in old tree stumps or fence posts, and a lot of that has gone away. So we are hopeful that by putting up nest boxes that we will help the uh, population to come back in our region. This step involves looking into the box with a camera on a pole to see what the chicks are doing. So, so Anthony has to send all this data in to the bird banding lab, which is a national organization that's connected to the Canadian organization. We put on the band with special pliers that don't hurt the chick's legs in any way. What it does is it essentially gives us a way to identify each individual bird by putting a small band with nine numbers on the bird's leg. We will take some feathers from one of them for a genetic study that's being done nationwide on kestrels. Uh, Anthony, it's 119.8. Mm -hmm. We weigh the chicks in this can because it keeps them calm and it keeps them still, which is useful for the weighing process.